Hello everyone, it's Lydia and I'm super excited to share a design team project that I created for KSP, that's Kitty Scrap Post. This digital kit was created by Luisa Diaz and I will add two links down below, one where she showcases her principles and the other one where you can purchase the kit if you're interested. It's $10, a great value and you can print your images over and over again. So this one is called Trash Chic and it's her pink collection. I printed a couple of the images. I didn't print them all. I just printed what I'll be working with. Hopefully, I will get a couple of projects done this month because I'm super busy with renovations. So let me show you quickly some of the um, paper. Super gorgeous. Um, it has some hints of uh, lilac or lavender in here, which I love. You ladies know that I love purples and anything purple, lavender, and lilac I love. Love the... Um, piece of lace here that she added and the angel is super sweet the flo florals are gorgeous and there's a lot of script and um, flourishes here and love the little rosebuds and there's a butterfly up there this is like take 10 because my kids are so noisy and um, beautiful image of a sweet little girl here there's the pointer finger and the hot air balloon and a clock some script Flowers, really faint here, it says memories. Yeah, these papers are really beautiful. And some music notes on this one, and some corner pieces. Super gorgeous. Love the script on this again, some more flourishes. Chicken wire, fabulous, love that. Pretty cluster of images here. And then these are, I guess they would be called add-ons. So you have a lot of fun images to fussy cut. For your cards and tags, mini albums. I love this oval piece here with the roses. Butterfly, more flowers. Beautiful image. And here's like a file folder. And dress form scissor, another tag. And here's some tags, beautiful. Great images. And here's another file folder and key and some flowers to fussy cut. So I wanted to alter something that I've never altered before. So I altered a clipboard and this is a small size one. This one just measures six by nine. I think you can find these at the dollar store, but this one was sent to me by Steph, who's Brown Baby Craftaholic. Thank you, Steph. I have poor lighting, so I brought my lamp over. You may get some shadows, unavoidable, but I'll do my best to keep the shadows off my project. So I just sewed my clipboard twice and then I added some off-white paint grabbed my Tim Holtz Milt Lavender Distress Ink because it went perfect with this paper and I just distressed all the way around the edges of my clipboard I left the clip bare because I have a lot of silver embellishments here and I just like the way it looks so I didn't bother to paint it I have some purple seam binding here and then this piece here is I picked it up at Michael's. I believe this is from Industrial Chic. And it had an O-ring on top here and an O-ring on the bottom. So I took advantage of the O-ring and added my garment pin on here. I'll talk about the charm more in a sec. I added some dainty trim here. And I wanted this piece to be functional so you can open it and add a photo or a notepad. And here's this gorgeous print paper from um, Luisa's Digital Kit. I just love the hints of lavender in here. Beautiful print. On the bottom I added some white crochet trim that I received from Marcia. Thank you Marcia. Flat Gold M and then I added some Scrabble tiles for the word notes and then this beautiful handmade flower that uh, Marcia also created and she used a beautiful sparkly silver button there so that went perfect with this. So I made this little notepad and I stamped anything as possible and then I tore the edges of the paper and I distressed it with some um, milled lavender and I got the idea for the little notepad and the charm element from Butterbee Scraps. And so I hooked on my chain that I received from Letty, Crafty Girl 101. I added another O-ring and I hooked it right into the hole of the binder ring. So I have a floor de lis charm just hanging on this side and then here I added more charms. I have a postcard that says I love you. I have a rose 
lots of roses on this print and this is a Tim Holtz bauble I added a Tim Holtz pen nib it says journal on there and then this is supposed to be like a little inkwell and I filled it with some black paint and then I added some bling on the top of the plastic container so that turned out really sweet I didn't do anything to the back I'm not sure if I'm gonna date it sign it and mod podge it or if I'm gonna add more paper I'm torn so because you know it's the back so that clips on there for little notes so I think this turned out really cute that is my design team project for KSP ladies head on over to Luisa's channel for more information thanks for watching everyone post a comment if you wish and subscribe have a fabulous day bye